half of this time. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be doing a VOD review of one of my students. Axis, could you just quickly introduce yourself? All right, so I'm a Diamond 2 player. I was Silver 2 last act, and I went up to Diamond 1, but I've been stuck Diamond 2 this entire act. And I, I'm a really good at aiming, but I feel like my game sense may be the reason I'm not doing as well as I should be. Okay, so you feel like it's your it's your game sense that needs a bit of work right now. Yeah, and my like communication with my team. Yeah, so let's see let's see what happens. This is like one of my uh like one of my good games. Like most of the time I have good games, but this is like a good game, but we ended up losing it and we we're up so much. So I see that you are your team put three towards A. Your Yar is playing beyond by himself and so you're just probably gonna wall mid so that she can maybe fast rotate to a if she needs to but you guys do have three towards a so it looks like you're about to push out so let's just see what happens okay so you decide to run all the way through spawn maybe it would have been faster if you went through sewers and maybe caught someone perhaps like potentially lurking up mid but there's that wall so i feel like there wouldn't be a person market here you see like your team got two picks here uh there's a smoke i think one quick thing you can do is go to settings and maybe do keep players centered off because right now you see how like your players like at the center of the mini map so if that settings turned off then you can see the whole entire mini map okay yeah so he was just holding that off angle so yeah just make sure uh you just kind of like jiggle peek it a little bit so that you clear like angle by angle by slicing the pie all right Why is yeah, the breach the walking? <laughs> nice. Nice. Good dismiss. Okay, and you know the raise is on site. Good kill. Nice. Oh. Yeah, but it's bad. Your team, like, instantly died. Like two of your teammates instantly died. So what do you think you could have done here differently? I feel like I shouldn't have got stuck in that corner in the first place. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, have, I wouldn't really cross, right? I probably should like jiggle a little bit, waited for some aggression because it's a two v five. You know what I mean? And I probably could have got a kill, flash out, and I go inside with my teammate. Yeah, because your brim was still alive, heaven. You guys still had heaven control. I mean, like it's unlikely that anyone's pushing mid here, right? If they are, then Brim would have died, but Breach, look at where Breach is, he's still really late, and he probably still has his full utility. Yeah, you could have played off his flash or concuss, and you still had two flashes left. You did put yourself in a bad spot by crossing over here, because you're stuck now, right? People can peek you from this angle, from close to CT. So if you really wanted to actually, oh, actually Brim, Brim died too. So if you wanted to, you could have maybe thrown a flash, like pop flash the ground, because if you flash, on the ground right it pops faster so you mm -hmm. can just pop flash and then just cross back safer instead of just trying to take this fight out in the open with the specter you could also ads at that range adsing with specter is actually very underrated maybe i might have to try that out i've never really done that yeah mid range it's actually very strong <laughs> so here i'm just playing backside i like sure. to play like walk out where like just walk out and i just peek mm -hmm. Nice. Gotta watch out for elbow. Yeah. Yeah, because I heard him slash him. Nice shot. I'm pulling. Nice. Good round. You won the round, but do you think they're still like just looking back at this? Like any any yeah, way that you Yeah, a couple things. Yeah. Yeah. Like what but right there, things? I kind of peaked while I was reloading. At yeah. the end, towards the end there. Because if you know like the rain is stuck under hell, like you still had both of your flashes, right? So I know like when you're ulted, you are more likely yeah, to you're win right, that you're gunfight. Right, you're but right, but I wasn't thinking about that at yeah, all. Yeah, I haven't really seen you use your flashes at all yet. So another thing is your breach. So you're hiding behind screens. So you're relatively safe, right? As long as you, you know you're not exposed yet and you can hear people run up, right? And the thing is, because you're closer to A main and you can hear people run up, 
Breach is playing elbow. He can't hear hear that. Oh, so I can give him the info. You. So you can give him the info. Hey, they're running up right now, so that he knows when to use his utility. So you can ask for a concuss, or you can ask for a flash, and then you can just swing off of that with your ult. And that way, you know, maybe you don't have to drive peek as much. But you just waiting there quietly too, and not flashing, was good too. Because if you had flashed, then it's like really easy for them to shoot it because there's like at least three people running in. And then the other two people can like be exactly preaming where you are because now they know where you flash from, right? Um, mm -hmm. But maybe another thing you could do is combo the flash with your breach. So, hey, like, Breach, I'm gonna throw my flash, like let's flash at the same time. Or call for the flash and then that's when you throw out your flash and then you peek together. Yeah, it's a communication issue. If, if I get good at something like that, I could probably win a lot more games. Because a lot of my games, like they're they're really close. Mm -hmm. So like if it's just a couple rounds, could I win the game? Yeah, Instead or losing yeah, it. if even just like, because even just one person staying alive could literally mean the difference between winning or losing a round yeah. and then snowballing that win right into a win streak and then you're just winning out the game because valorant there's only 13 rounds that you got to win to win so but great round great round so honestly here it's been 10 seconds right so this is also what i'm like actively thinking about when i'm personally playing like you literally destroyed them on a right like you got a 4k yeah. on a like you stopped them really they're hard so yeah there's not a really good chance that they're so, gonna like, go away like, at the early info uh, they're probably not there yeah exactly at least in solo queue um unless like you know there's like a ultimate that the enemy has so if if you notice a like raise like press tab and you, you notice hey like raise is one off from her ult or like th they have skyle then like i i can see that there's like a reason for them to try to hit a again because now you don't have your ult um but they're most likely yeah, the win condition there yeah they're most likely not gonna try going a again unless like like i said like they have another reason to help them get on site but you didn't really show too many weaknesses on a so there's a good chance like they're gonna default or they're gonna try to play for picks or they're just gonna try to go to a different site oh okay 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 <laughs> as soon as i got double peek there i probably should have just got out yeah Forward. brim died you get the you get your team gets to trade i think the only reason why like you guys you were able to even kill one of them is because like the sage was peeking with you behind you but after this pick i definitely would have just dismissed right away because after you get like after you get that kill they know exactly where you are so there's a very good chance that they're gonna re-swing that same angle pre-aim where you are and then they'll mm -hmm. have the picker's advantage and you would be the one having to react to them Good flash. Oh my God. Got a clear hell though. Oh, yeah. Ooh. One more flash. There's no way. So something I think you can do in terms of like economy, right? Is you see like this breach, right? You see how much money he has. So he technically could have gone light armor and like bought you a rifle too. Oh yeah, you're right. Right, because like you're he could go right. light yeah. armor. He'll have three, three K, and then you just request the gun. So those are just little things you can still do to try to maybe. Yeah, I didn't even think about that yeah. at all. I've never, I've never thought about that. They might clear you here. Yeah. I guess not. <laughs> it worked the first time because your your breach kind of acted as bait, but then yeah. This round, like your breach played, he was playing ramps. Heaven. Yeah, so then they knew where he was, and so all they had to do is really just look for you, and now they know the the site's clear. So, yeah, a lot of this stuff I don't even realize. Like, I didn't even realize I was, these are some mistakes I have. So this angle that you're holding is actually like, it's really close to the wall, right? Yeah, they can see you before, right? Yeah, they can see you, if especially if they peek a little bit further away from this spot mm -hmm. of mail. I just realized that. Um, and also, like, if you are going to play a really close angle like this, even this crossfit placement right here might be a little too close, because they're literally going to just fly. Yeah. So, I would have held it even wider, like here. Nice. <laughs> he didn't clear you. Yes. I heard the reload. I just yeah. went for it. Oh. 
Nice, nice. good blind. That kid, I don't know why he didn't shoot the bomb. The flash. Ooh, the timing. Nice. Nice. I didn't realize I beat man a while ago. I was fearless. Just run in there. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, let's try. Now look what happens, like he just runs out because Yoro is no longer watching B main and now you don't even have your gunna. And in higher elo, like you should have popped instantly, you should have died here. But <laughs> these guys are all whipping, oh my god. Okay, but yeah, you died and then Sky was already up. Yeah, so you see how like it's really like the little things, right, that you gotta be paying attention to. Uh, because if you had thrown that flash, maybe you wouldn't have taken so much damage, perhaps even gotten a kill, and then just stop that whole entire push onto the site, right? Yep, good job clearing that. Wait, he dropped on me. Probably. Oh. oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess that works. Oh. You see how like you have your util out like out in the open? Yeah, we both have our util out. Yeah. So. You have to maybe like communicate with your team being like, hey, like, are you going to be the one flashing? Like, am I going to be flashing for you? Because usually, right, with uh, with Reyna, like, I, I like to go in kind of second because let's say I have like a raise or jet. And in this case, you don't. But if you do, right, then you can be flashing for them. But here, like, if you're going to be entry and you have a... You have a Yoro, you also have a Breach that can be flashing for you. And if you're going to be standing out in the front, you shouldn't be having your utility out, right? So if you know you're in the front, like don't even bother flashing because someone else is going to flash for you. Or make it clear, right? Communicate who's going to do what. Um, so that way you have your gun out and this guy is literally standing here. And if you had your gun out, like this is a free kill, right? It's just a free kill. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so they're bonusing. No, no, watch this, bro. Watch this shit. No, just walk behind me, my children. Bro, you have like 99 HP. Don't fuck me in. Okay, so what do you think happened here? So, Breach just went straight on site. We were all still back. I was trying to help him out. And then I just got flashed and naded at the same time. There's, um, there's one thing that I'm like really looking at that he didn't do. Flash early, maybe. Yeah. So you see, you see, like how the breach is already going on site. Yeah. So he's by himself. So you gotta and, and see how like you're kind of far away from him too. Like no one's really close to him to trade this guy out at all. I know he's just going in because he's like spamming his flashes and stuff. But yeah, like what if Sky's playing on site? He flashes out of elbow or from site, and she peeks. Then you guys are dead. And so if you to avoid, you know, her just peeking for free after flashing, like you could throw a counter flash, right? Okay. Yeah, because your arena blind, it stays up for a couple seconds, so. Yeah, and then it might, she has to it shoot might... it. By the time she shoots it, her flash is gone. Yeah. Exactly. You have your ult. Yeah, she's still behind the pillar. Woo! Oh shit. Probably should have ulted your left. You're trolling. Woo! Better. Green is up. Oh my god. Ace, bro. Come on. Oh, okay. Double aces in a single game? Okay. 
That was huge. But yeah, ulting would have been helped, right? <laughs> There's a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Ulting could have helped, and then I got really scared when the Euro started going in, but I didn't say anything. Um, yeah, then I basically, I mean, I basically walked into the lane. Yeah. <laughs> But hey, it worked out. You just out aim them all. So I f I feel like your aim really isn't isn't the issue here. Yeah, definitely not. I feel like the problem is I don't know too much about this game. That like I can't pick out what I'm what the mistakes I'm making. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because I don't even think about half the things you told me. Never thought of them. Never even crossed my mind. I could screen. Yes, Mike. Go for it. Go for it. Yep. It's just their eco. Don't be scared. Yo. Got a clear elbow. Yeah, one guy screens. Should call that out. Guys are all clumped up. So here, like, I would have ulted too. Yeah. I think I ulted later on. Yeah. Oh, this raise is close. Oh, I know why I didn't ult. I didn't want to die to the raise and then waste all. That could help too. I mean, I guess you could still dismiss with your normal stuff, but. Oh, wait, All on site. Ooh. So here, look at your money. So you have 5k, right? And the rest of your yeah. team needs to save. So actually, what I like to do is pay attention to your minimum next round. I would have maybe even gotten like Vandal and Light Armor. Because see how right now you just bought. I don't know if you saw that, but it said minimum next round with the full buy. You said 3300. So if you wanted, you could have just like Light Armor, Vandal. Yeah. And you would have still had enough money for next round to full buy. Nice. Yeah. There's, there's I heard a kid you, in the corner. This yeah, you didn't time. clear it. I, I was. Did I you hear me pause? Me. Yeah. Did you hear me pause? I'm like, uh. uh. <laughs> yeah. Because right here, you turn around. Yeah. But you didn't pixel. clear it. Say. Yeah. There's a deep pocket in this box that you gotta clear. It's only good for one though, so I think we're changing. But I don't know, just theoretically, let's just say you clear that angle, you saw the sage, you killed her earlier, that, you we definitely win that because you're alive, yep. right? Yep. <laughs> the clutch factor, the clutch factor. Yeah. At this point, you're carrying your team, you just gotta stay alive. <laughs> yeah, there we Make go, sure you cleared this it out. this time, yep. Nice. Oh, oh. Wait, no. This ulted. Oh. It's really bad. Yeah. Yeah, but mm. when I pushed up that much, there wasn't very much like availability where I could move. Yeah. Because they're everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because. Uh, okay. This is also like spacing, positioning, map control, all that, all those topics combined. So. Sage called out hell, ulted. So where, like, where's the only place that, that the person hell could go? Like, probably here, right? Yep. Which is where the Reyna was. You pushed out with your back against CT, which is dangerous. But what I would have actually done is you guys took up so much space on site so fast, right? With all your util. Yeah. So it's not that good for all of you guys to just be back here right because yeah we could have spaced out like had the yeah full site like control. maybe one of you could have played this corner right here that's what i noticed on bind whenever i play i mean not on split whenever i play split whenever we go b most of the time everybody's just playing back most of the time no matter like what game it is every like every b round you push everybody's playing back yeah so yoru is even doing a late lurk mid so so breach ulted right he should have communicated that he was gonna ult but now that he ulted this is a perfect time for you to actually take up more space onto site set up extra angles and crossfires so that it's really hard for the enemies to retake right so here that's exactly what you do you guys get this pick so after this kill i would have actually immediately just pushed up more and like maybe even play this angle right here yeah Cause then I can see the Reyna too. Cause then you can see the Reyna and you're swinging a wider angle and you're safe from heaven. 
temporarily at least, right? Unless they push out rafters. But then because, you know, someone's playing pillar, like they could be watching rafters for you. And now because you're playing this hell right here under rafters, your your back's not exposed anymore, right? Here. But now see how like you're exposed to this angle, this angle, and then yeah. breach decides to for whatever reason push CT by himself. He dies, so now you are trapped. There's one, two, three angles now that you're worried about. Which is exactly what happens, right? Player standing. Oh rubs. Oh, nice. Great pick. You have your ult. I would have definitely ulted here by now. Because at this point, you're down numbers, but they know like you could probably be pushed up because you took sight really fast. So ulting here would have been really good. So now you can win like way more of your 1v1s. Okay, awesome. <laughs> there we go. I think I did that too late though, because they could have been close. I tried to like wide swing the op so you couldn't kill me kill him and then get out yeah that's there. unfortunate i think it's because you see how you're literally hugging this wall and yeah. so even right here your shoulder is peaking yeah if you hadn't really good. yeah if you hadn't hugged this wall and you swung out wider i think maybe you had a better chance oh oh one heaven nice Oh no! Yeah, those were hands. Oh my god. Oh. Think about pulling my classic there and right click that, that, baby. Yeah, I was thinking maybe shoot it with the classic. But I don't know. I, I don't I don't think I would have even tried to run that way after getting walled up and getting that pick. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just bro. Like, yeah, you, tell you I'm a so aggressive. You played so aggressive my ego, there. My ego against these kids, like. Cause you see one guy here, and I know I don't know if you noticed, but look, you what? you see here and here. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So so I would I would have not dropped down here, but instead maybe wrapped around and try to have more crossfires or just held yeah, backside. Was, like, was there too. But, uh, but. Yeah, and, and instead of healing, I would have definitely like dismissed instead. Oh, I mean, I learned a lot. I, like a lot of these things you're telling me, like this is like this is what I need. Like I don't like when I'm watching myself play back, I don't know I'm making these mistakes because like I don't have that knowledge. That makes sense, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When you don't have that knowledge, you can't point out your mistakes. I, I wrote some of it down. That's great. What are some of the things you wrote down? I wrote down think about team positions on CT, one v one trades, favorite attackers. Don't pull out your flash going first, playing Reyna, or if your teammate's gonna flash for you. Mm -hmm. uh, jiggle peek if you think someone's there. Play up teammate util and let them know what you hear that that they can't hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of this, uh, I, I think the main issue was like, you guys were actually planting the bomb so many times. Like you guys did a great job attacking, honestly. Like you were getting picks too, you were doing your control. job. You guys, yeah, the pulse fan was really messy in terms of positioning. So you guys lost five retakes. If you won any of those rounds, maybe you could have snowballed just one out, right? Yeah, we lost. So Especially many if you lost, if if you won this 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 round right here, bonus. the bonus. Oh, that would have been huge. The positioning stuff, especially when it comes to post plants, that's gonna be covered way more in depth, like in in our lessons. All right. Well, that's it for today then. Have a good uh, rest of your day, it. man. Yeah, no worries. You too. Thank All you, right. bro. Bye-bye.